Welcome to the second video on digital ways to support interdisciplinary cooperation. This video is about the necessary properties. So the first thing that comes to my mind is working and learning in a networking way. So it's not like this that one person who is on the top of the organization will provide every kind of information and is saying what to do or what not. It's working really in an intense way together and feeling responsible for what is happening. It's a lot about the ownership of learning, the ownership of working scenarios and the ownership for interdisciplinary cooperation. So everybody can contribute to it and everybody can hinder it and everybody can look on possible problems and work together with other in solving it. What is especially important is to look on a common code of conduct. Of course that's also important for every other aspect of communication and on digital platform it's it's especially important to talk about what language is to be used there, what pictures are used, um, how it is to deal with, with messages that are somehow connected with as racism and blaming people for, for things or putting in fake news. At that point, once again to say, that's not the problem or the issue of just one person who has the superpower to look at that, but it's a common, a collaborative task. What is also really important, what is always discussed about using digital tools is, does that mean I have always to be online? Of course not. Neither in the fields of education nor in the fields of healthcare. It's not healthy that an institution uh, thinks that someone that everybody is available 24-7, 365 days. So it's totally okay to say when somebody is not online or not reading messages or working on things. The other aspect is it's very important to open up and to share experiences, notes, found literature, learnings that are coming out of this lit literature. And what is always helpful is to breathe and to smile together. So I introduce you to think once again out about these properties. What would you choose firstly? Look at this slide. And look at this slide. How could you start right in within the next 72 hours of your work? Good luck.